Well, I'm back. It's been a while. I've been uh, in a creative slump for about two months now. And uh, artists go through it every once in a while. They don't do it too often, but they do go through it. And uh, so I'm getting back on this uh, Viking. And uh, hopefully I can work out the pose today. As I said last time, this is uh, from a ske sketch I did for another piece uh, several years ago. And I just had this uh, clayed out, and I figured, why not use it? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get my stuff together here. And I'm going to use some of these little things here. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, I got this at the... Actually, the local uh, True Value hardware store, uh, it's uh, in their hobby section, uh, you know, along with uh, oil painters' uh, brushes and, and stuff like that. I'm not sure what, these are little tiny uh, sticks with uh, sponges on the end of them, and I'm not sure what they were used for, but... Uh, thought I'd try to use uh, this in my sculpture. Might be handy for putting a little bit of uh, a lighter fluid in a sm small tight area to uh, clean up. But uh, kind of cool. It, it feels like a uh, little cotton ball on the end, but it's not cotton. It's uh, something else. Anyway, huh. anyway, I thought I'd use that. All right, let's uh, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna have him standing, sitting, or what I'm gonna have him doing yet. I'm gonna start by dismantling it. Tell you what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of having him standing with the wind blowing from behind his robe of some kind. Not sure I'm gonna make him bare chested yet. Really have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. Nick than what I'm giving him. I'm just uh, trying to figure this out. It's kind of hard to get back into it once you've been away from sculpting for so long, but I'm really anxious to get started on this thing. the knife up here. I want to change the angle of his shoulders. And uh, I've got this little alcohol lamp that I got at the uh, hardware, hardware store. Just got to find a damn lighter. There we go. I 
I've got a cough because I was making chili and uh, I shook the bottle of uh, cayenne pepper and I didn't know that the lid was partially ajar and I got cayenne pepper in the air which causes one to uh, cough. Take a, a little bit out of this side. Yeah, let's see. Okay. All right, now I'm going to attempt to uh, change shoulder, bring that one up and bring this one down, up and that one down. All I'm doing is trying to work out the uh, pose for the larger piece that I'm going to do. Or I may just do this as the uh, piece itself, because uh, a lot of times big pieces don't sell as fast as small pieces. But then again, I had one client who said if I want knickknacks, I'll go to a gift store. And uh, small pieces he considered to be knickknacks. But not everybody had the money this guy had. Another problem about being away from sculpting for so long, I can't find half my tools because I forgot where I put them. Where are my calipers in there? They are right there. Let's see. Bottom of the rib cage to the elbow. That arm is just a little bit too short. Okay. I got to get these uh, legs anchored. Half is the longest one I've got. Okay. This will all make sense in a moment. Well, maybe in a couple of moments.
what I'm doing is I'm putting the screw real close to the armature and down in the hole that the armature goes into and that locks the armature in place so it's not lifting it well it's not supposed to lift out obviously I didn't get that one right yeah make sure I got it in the hole first Put it right down in the hole. There we go. Don't want the sculpture to come unhinged halfway through it. with some electrician's tape which is in the other room. Be right back. The sculpting area is so tight that I have to literally wrangle myself in. So I take some electrician's tape and I wrap it around the leg. It's not going to hurt anything. It's all going to be covered with clay anyway. He's going to be muscular but he's not going to be overly muscular. I don't want to look, look like a cartoon character. So, I think this wire is strong enough to hold itself up. I hope so. It's a cheap way to support your clay. Uh, you can get really expensive getting galvanized pipe and fittings and all that stuff I used to do that and I found that less makes more if that makes sense to you I want to take this opportunity while I'm binding his leg to announce that I have a uh, nine instructional DVDs that I'm selling and I have uh, if you buy all ten or nine you get a tenth secret <laughs> instructional DVD uh, free and all your shipping costs are covered so anyway I just uh, and I got two uh, DVDs out one on uh, creating a horse from scratch and one on creating a cowboy drinking his morning coffee by an open fire and uh, putting his shirt on or getting ready to. So there's a link below in the uh, video description and it leads you to my page where I've got reviews of all these uh, DVDs. And uh, I'd sure like to get some people to buy some because that's what keeps me going it keeps me producing although i haven't really been producing a lot lately <coughs> i'm just basically shaping and forming and trying to come up with a story through his body action in doing that, I'll take this off of here. I'm going to recheck from the top of the shoulder to the bottom of the rib cage is the elbow. And you can see the elbow is up here and it should be down here. And this elbow is about maybe a half inch too short. So I've got to rearrange that. I left a lot of extra wire on the arm so that uh, if I have to make a change I got enough uh, wire to do it. So it's just a matter of straightening out the elbow. I'm sure glad it's not me that I'm pinching on. Okay, top of the elbow. 
elbow. Establish the top of the shoulder. There you go. check my uh, shoulder width <coughs> sorry that cayenne pepper got me now a male is two head lengths wide that's bottom of the chin to the top of the head in the shoulder now a female is one and a half heads wide Ideally, my ex-wife, uh, she was two heads wide in the shoulders. So you can't always go by that, but ideally, and this is stuff that's set down by the Greeks 2,000 years, maybe 3,000 3, years ago, uh, and uh, it's something that uh, if you don't follow the proportions, the ideal proportions something's going to look wrong also uh, yeah I kind of like that just got to figure out what to do with this arm um, let's get this elbow proper I'll just I've already got the elbow in there right I just have to <coughs> make the length of the arm correct I don't know if I'm going to have him holding a sword or what right now. Um, I may have his shield on his back. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And that's the, that's the fun thing about creating something is, you know, from scratch without any kind of sketches or anything, is playing with the ideas while you're uh, playing with the clay. And let the story develop itself. What was it Michelangelo used to say that he, the uh, figure he was carving was hidden inside the marble? Well, that's basically what you're doing when you sculpt the clay. It's the figure, if you're sculpting a figure, is hidden inside the clay. Or, in this case, in space, and what you're doing is creating something that never occupied space before. That's what you're doing when you're sculpting. You create something that never was. Now I may have the visitors here, so I may have to quit here in a second. Well, my guests are uh, on their way back to their motel and uh, I didn't get very far on this. We, we had a long discussion. It was, it was really pleasant to visit with uh, this couple from Texas. Anyway, um, I played with the figure a little bit, but not much. Uh, just basically changed his angle. I'll pick this up tomorrow. Or actually, I won't because I'm going to the foundry tomorrow to uh, color the first copy of... Uh, approaching storm 
and uh, I gotta leave early in the morning and get there and hopefully be done by afternoon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do color on the bronze yet. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna play it by ear. All right, good night, everybody, and uh, see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.